The coordinates in Minecraft are really helpful for building and coding. And if you don't see coordinates in the top left of your screen, like mine says 2, 2, 23, if you don't see those, hit Escape, go to Settings, and make sure you have Show Coordinates turned on. And in this single player world, there is a little spot here that is the 0, 0, 0. So now you can see my coordinates are zeros on the x, y, and z. And if I move to the right one, the x goes up, goes up to 2, etc. And I can also, from here, go to the left and go into the negatives. So there's the x. And you can also look up at this big compass. And there you can see east is positive x and west is negative x, which is why it was going up and down only on the x. And if we look at the z, the third number, if I go backwards, it's actually going positive in the z, 3, 4, 5. And if I go forward, it's actually going negative on the z, the third number. And that matches up with the compass here where north, when I walk, oops, I fell in the water, north is negative z, and south is positive z. And then, of course, the third one is the y, which is just up and down. So I can double tap on the space bar to fly and go up on the y, or I can hold shift, and if I started digging a hole like right here, I could... Uh, go down on the y into the negatives, of course. One other trick is if you look up at the sun, you don't want to look at the sun too long, but if you look at the clouds, they are moving west. They're moving to my left very slowly, but if you look at the clouds, they are moving left, which is west or negative x. So if I move to the left here, you can see that number getting lower and lower and lower. The clouds will always be moving in that direction, so you can always reference that to know which direction you're facing. So how can we use this? Well, if we go into some empty area here, and let's say I just build a quick little house. Now this is not the best house ever, but it's a house. So if we wanted to use the move command, so if I hit the C key and I find an empty area to drop some code into, I'm going to say when the player chats, we'll call this uh, test1, and in the eSpace commands area, I'm going to grab one of the commands that says this from this world coordinate to this world coordinate move, and then I give it some x, y, and z. So I'm going to drag that in there. But how do I get this x, y, and z from the from and the to? Well, we want to go from, again, the lowest x, y, and z. So the north, or furthest away from me. West, the furthest to the left. And the negative y, the lowest. So the furthest this way, the far left, but lowest. So I want to know the location of that empty block right there. So one way is I could just go stand there. And I see it's 14, 0, 0. So you could write that down, or I'm just going to go directly by hitting the C key. You can type in 14, and then it's 0, 0. I'm going to replace those blocks. And then I'm going to go to the opposite corner, which would be the east southernmost, so southeast corner at the highest Y. So the southeast corner is the closest to me, furthest right. So that block right there. Again, you could just go stand on it to know what it is, which is 17, 2, and 4. So 17, tab key, 2, tab key, 4. Now, where do I want to move it? Well, let's say I wanted to move it uh, to the right. Well. If I start moving to the right, I see my x is getting higher in the positive. So let's say I just want to move it 10 blocks to the right. It'll move the whole house. So I'll give it a positive number in the x, which will move it to my right. 
and let's try it out if I do a hit enter and type test one there we go it moved 10 to the right